Hello students, welcome to Rohit Tutorials. In this lecture, we will see about non-deterministic finite automata. The basic concepts about non-deterministic finite automata and difference between deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata that we have already learned. Please visit the starting lectures of theory of computation. The video link of the course is given in the description box. Now, non-deterministic finite automata. What is meant by non-deterministic finite automata? If there is a multiple transition is available from the current state for the given input symbol. If suppose Q0 state is available, here Q1 state is available, here Q2 state is available and suppose here Q3 state is available. From the current state, for a given input symbol, more than one transition is available. Suppose whenever at Q0 state, 0 is occur, it goes to Q1. At Q0 state, 0 is occur, it again goes to Q2. Q0 state, 0 is occur, it goes to Q3. Or either 0 is occur at Q0 state, it uh, present at the self state, that is Q0 state. So such a transition is available in more than one transition is available from the current state for the given input symbol. So such a deter such a finite automata is called as a non-deterministic finite automata, NFA, or some of them also call it as NDFA, non-deterministic finite automata. Non-deterministic finite automata are represented with the help of five tuples, capital Q, summation, row Q0, F same as deterministic finite automata. What happens in your deterministic finite automata? If suppose initial state is present Q0, so for a given input symbol, only one transition is available from the current state. Suppose Q0 state 0 is over, it goes to Q1. Means only one transition is available for a given input symbol. Here the multiple choices are available from the current state. Or a given input symbol, but such a condition is not available in deterministic finite automata. If we have drawn 0 at Q0 state self loop, so Q0, 0 is over, it goes to Q0, again Q0, 0 is over, it goes to Q1. Such a condition is not available in non deterministic finite automata. So this is called as NFA, and if we suppose to remove this, we call it as simply a DFA because there is a no any choice for the given input symbol. We always move to this direction. Only one move for the given input symbol is available. But here the multiple choices are available from the current state to the next state in NFA that is not deterministic finite automata. Next is non-deterministic finite automata are represented with the help of phi tuples. We know that Q is represented as a finite set of state. Sorry, finite set of states. Summation is represented as a set of input symbol. This is called as transition function. At any state, any input symbol is come, it goes to next state. It goes to next state. Next Q0 starting state or start state or some of them call it as the initial state. Q0 belongs to capital Q because Q0 state is available in capital Q and F is the final state or accepting state or accepting state. If there are more than one final state is also available in uh, uh, non-deterministic finite automata, so we consider it as a subset of capital Q. Subset of capital Q. So Q represented as finite set of states. Same tuples are available in deterministic finite automata. Summation set of input symbol, row, transition function, Q, any input symbol is occur, it goes to the next state, Q0, start state 
or starting state or initial state Q0 belongs to capital Q and left is final state F is a subset of capital Q. So one by one we will see. Whenever we are considering a deterministic finite automata, so we represent a Q whatever the number of input states are available. For example, Q0 state. 0 is occur or 1 is occur, it goes to Q0. Next is 1 occur at Q0 state, it goes to Q1. Again, 0 is occur at Q0, Q1 state, 0 is occur at Q1 state, it goes to Q2. Suppose this is the final state. And again, 0 occur, 1 occur at Q2 state, it remains at Q2 state. Suppose this is the NFA non-deterministic finite automata. How? Because for a given input symbol 1, multiple choices are available from the current state Q0. Because Q0 state 1 is occur, self loop is also available and Q0 to Q1 transition is also available. So that's why it is called as non-deterministic finite automata. So Q finite set of states. So we have considered the Q0, Q1, Q2 in deterministic finite automata. But now, Q for uh, some time you consider this Q0, Q1 and Q2 as a capital Q. Next is summation. So we are considering the summation at 0, 1. 0, 1 because input symbols are 0 and 1. Here, Q we consider as a Q0, Q1 and Q2 for some time. Transition function Q at Q state, suppose any input symbol is term, it goes to the next state. Here, here we are representing a Q as a power set of Q. Power set. So what is meant by power set? That is 2 raised to Q. Suppose here three states are available, Q0, Q1, Q2. So in non-deterministic finite automata, total 2 raised to 3 maximum number of states make up. Maximum number of states make up. As we know that if we consider the deterministic finite automata in that only three states are available Q0, Q1 and Q2. But if we consider the non-deterministic finite automata here Q are represented as the power set of Q that is 2 raised to Q. So we are representing here three states 1, 2 and 3. So 2 raised to 3 we consider it as a total number of states may occur in non-deterministic finite automata. So what are those states? States may be a 5 that is empty state. State may be suppose Q0, Q1, Q2. State may be Q0 combination of Q0, Q1. State may be Q0, Q2. State may be Q0, Q1, Q2. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and last is Q1, Q2. So these are the eight states are available or it may come in non-deterministic finite automata. It is represented as the power set of Q. Next is start state. Next is start, start state, starting state or initial state Q0. So Q0 in, it is same as the deterministic finite automata because always a starting state is available in any finite automata. So it is same as the deterministic finite automata or DFA. And last is nothing but the final state F. It is a subset of Q. So one or more final states may occur in any finite automata. Either it is in the deterministic finite automata or non-deterministic finite automata. So what are those states? If we consider the deterministic finite automata, either Q0 as a final state, either Q1 as a final state, either Q2 as a final state, those states are available. But whenever we are considering the non-deterministic finite automata, either any state is come as a final state in non-deterministic finite automata. If we consider this diagram, so Q2 is a final state in this diagram, so we consider those state which consisting of a Q2 as a symbol. Suppose here 5 state, there is no any Q available, suppose Q0 state, no any Q is available, suppose Q1 state, 
no any q2 is available suppose if we consider this q2 as minus a next that is q0 q2 it consisting of q2 so we consider it as a final state we consider it as a final state suppose q0 q1 q2 here the q2 is also available so we consider this as a final state and last is q1 q2 we also consider this as a final state so these are four final state available or may come in non deterministic finite automata so we have covered the basic things in non deterministic finite automata in non deterministic finite automata for a single input more than one choices are available from the current state non deterministic finite automata are represented with the help of five tuples tuples are first is capital q finite set of states so these are the states make up while during the transition during uh, during the problem solving next is summation summation represent a set of input symbols it is 0 1 which is given in the problem next is transition function capital q consisting of any input symbol that produces the next state that produces the next state and q0 is the starting state or initial state q0 belongs to q and f is the final state or accepting state f is a subset of capital q because more than one final state are also present in uh, non deterministic finite automata as well as deterministic finite automata so that's why we consider that f is a subset of capital q so main important point in non deterministic finite automata are here we are considering the q dash we are considering the transition function and we are considering the final state because as we know that the states are changed in non deterministic finite automata so this capital q also change this transition function also change and this f that is final states are also change as we know that the summation that is input symbol remains as it is also the starting state remains as it is so these two factors are not changed only these three factors are changed in non deterministic finite automata again one important point the power set of q the power set of q is represented as 2 raised to q suppose we are having the three states so that's why 2 raised to 3 equal to 8 8 states may come in non deterministic finite automata suppose if we consider only two states q0 q1 so here 2 raised to 2 four state may come in non deterministic finite automata we have consider these states or total number of states based on power set of q in non deterministic finite automata so here we are considering the q as 2 raised to 2 because it is a power set of q so this is all about non deterministic finite automata in next lecture we will see some of the problem based on non deterministic finite automata thank you